Beloved, I want to tell you that the very same promises that God made to the Israelites, they also spoke unto our lives also. The very same promises to the Israelites, they also apply on our lives even today. What are the promises that God spoke to the children of Israel? God promised to guide and keep them in the wilderness through their journey to the promised land. God says he will send his angel to walk with them and to protect them. God promised to provide for them in the wilderness journey. And God says, my angel will always be ahead of you. God says, my angel will Make your enemies to run away from you. God promised them that their enemies will also be his enemies. So God says, do not fear, I will always send terror ahead of you. I will always make your enemies to run away from you. And God says, I will send hornets or the wipes. To send away the Hittites, the Canaanites, and the Hivites out of the land. These are the promises which God promised to the children of Israel. And I told you that the very same promises they apply to us today. People, if God was not intervening in our lives on a daily basis, I am telling you there was no way that we were still going to be around even today. If God was not interfering in your lives, in your challenges, Many of you, I'm telling you, you have been perished by now. Many of your lives will have ended. Many you have returned unto dust. The reason that you are still here 2015, it is because God is intervening in your lives on a daily basis. Each and every second of your life, God is intervening in your life. Why? Because you are also a chosen people. Just like when the Israelites, they were a chosen nation. We who are washed by the blood of Jesus Christ. We are called the chosen people. That is why all the blessings which apply to the Israelites, they also apply unto us in People, God is saying, I will be faithful to those who are faithful unto me. And God is saying, I will be an enemy to those who are your enemies. God is saying to you, he will curse those who will curse you. And God is saying, he will bless those who will bless you. God is saying unto you, like he said to the Israelites, Israelites, your enemies who comes against you, he will turn them and make them to run away from you. God will always bless your bread and bless your water. God also has promised to increase your wealth. Beloved, I am telling you, your God is in control. You have nothing to fear as you are starting your year 2015. God is saying to you as you are journeying in this year 2015, I will be walking before you. I will make sure that I remove all the obstacles in front of you. Every challenge that will come before you, God has promised to remove them. People, if God is saying he will be an enemy of your enemies, God is saying whatever that will come against you, he himself he will also be against such things. Whoever who will be talking bad about you, God is promising to be against such people. 
people. Beloved, whatever cares that people will bring your way in the year 2015, in the year in which God is intervening in your life, he will turn all the cases unto blessings in your life. People, God is going to be an enemy to those who are an enemy to your family. You all know who is your enemy. You have many enemies in your lives. You have enemies at your workplace. Enemies to your children. Enemies in your marriage. Enemies in your finances. All those enemies in your lives. God is going to be against them in 2015. Beloved, I am telling you, you have nothing to fear in this year. Because if God is for you, I am telling you there's no one who will ever be against you. God told the Israelites, all the Canaanites who are against you, the Hittites and the Hivites who are against you, God says, I am going to drive them out of the way. God, when God is on your side, you are more than a conqueror. But why we say 2015? It is your year of prevailing. Because God is for you. People, if God is for you, He will make sure that whatever that you do, whatever that you touch, they are going to be blessed. Because you will be walking in a year of prevailing. We have no reason to fear. In the year we have no reason to worry in the year 2015 because God is intervening in our lives. Are you hearing what I'm saying to I know you are here in the church. You are so confused. You are perplexed. I know you are trying to venture to the left. But things are not going your way. You are trying to push to the right. But things are just going your way going on the other way. But I want you to, to know this thing. God is in control. You must put your confidence in God. Put everything in the hands of God. God is saying in the year 2015, all your burdens unto me because God cares about you. People, those things which are heavy in your life, God wants you to entrust them in your house because God will be walking before you. People, I know there are so many things that you are desiring. There are so many big things that you want to possess. And many things of you, you are praying that God will give you. There are so many big things that you want to possess. There are so many big things that you want to possess. There are so many big things that you want to possess. There are so many big things that you want to possess. There are so many big things that you want to possess. There are so many big things that you want to possess. There are so many big things that you want to possess. There are so many big things that you want to possess. There are so many big things that you want to possess. There are so many big things that you want to possess. There are so many big things that you want to possess. There are so many big things that you want to possess. There are so many big things that you want to possess. There See it coming to pass. No, but but I want hand. to tell you something. God can see the whole picture. He knows, knows what is it that you want. And, and only God. when you turn your trust to God, God will make sure that your vision comes to pass. You you know, know, people, when God is on your side, God will make everything to be a possibility. We have no reason to fear. People, whatever things that you cannot control. Everything that are above your means, you must trust them in the hands of God. For God will make it possible to come into your life. That is why God in Jeremiah 29, 11, he says, I know the plans I have for you. Plans for you. Plans to give you a hope and a future. 2015, God has a plan for you. What is the plan of God? The plan of God is to prevail you. The plan of God is to make you a success. The plan of God is to put you behind in the right way. The plan of God is to move you from one level to another. The plan of God is to take you from glory to glory. The plan of God is to move you from strength to strength. The plan of God is to take you from one line to another line. The plan of God is to take you from power to another power. 
power. This is what God has planned in your life. God has never planned defeat in your life. God has never planned sicknesses in your life. But what God has planned for you is also victory in your life. It's only prevailing in your life. Rest assured in the hands of God. For God knows what is it that you want. People you don't have to worry. God says, worry not about what you will eat. Worry not about what you will drink. Even when it concerns your body, God says, do not worry. For your Father in heaven, he knows what you need. That is why we say 2015, the year of the rain. We are expecting for the heavens to open up. We are expecting for the blessings of God to just pour like a rain in our life. Only when we trust in God, those things will come to pass. People, it will only come to pass only to those who are obedient to God. Only to those who trust in God. Who is here who is believing in God to turn your life around? And I'm telling you, God is going to turn your life around. In Isaiah 63 verse number 9, God says in all their affliction, he was afflicted. He was afflicted. And the angel of his presence saved them. In his love and in his pity, he redeemed them and he bared them and carried them all the days of old. In Deuteronomy 32 verse 11 to 12, it says as an eagle stir up, up his nest, fluttereth over her young, spreadeth abroad her wings, taketh them, beareth them on her wings. So the Lord alone did lead them and there was no strange God with him. Isaiah 46 verse number 4 it says and even to your old age I am he and even to her hairs we will I carry to her hairs white hairs we will I carry you I have made and I will bear even I will carry and will deliver you. Isaiah 48 verse number 14. It says for this God. Is our God forever and ever. He will be our guide even unto death. 1 Corinthians chapter 2 verse number 9. It says I have not seen. No I have not seen. No ye head. Neither have entered into the heart of men. The things which God hath prepared for them that loved him. But God hath revealed them unto us by his spirit. Beloved, God is the God of promises. And, and whenever God has promised something, God always makes sure that he fulfills it. People, God has promised us so many things in his holy word. And God says, my word will never come down and return to me void without accomplishing that which has sent it to perform. You know, our God is God El Shaddai. God who is all sufficient. People, you see, this God who is all, all, all sufficient, he is a God who is more than enough. And if we call him a God of more than enough, it means that he is God God who is able to meet all our needs. Whatever need that you are having in your life, rest assured God can meet your needs. What is it that you are believing your God for? Rest assured on the